This is a 2006 Toyota Sienna. I mean, uh, 2004, but it's the same for 2005, six, and um, also applies for a previous year. This uh, van has the code P0340 for the camshaft position sensor, and the car is uh, turning off randomly uh, when when it's been driven. Uh, we most likely call camshaft position sensor, but Toyota calls it the um, uh, camshaft. Uh, VVT sensor. This is the rear one and bank one, uh, the rear and the rear cylinder head. So I'm gonna see what's going on. I'm gonna take some steps uh, for uh, testing and inspection uh, procedure. 21 millimeter uh, lug nut. Okay, and I'm gonna be removing the tie rod from here. Okay, and this is a 17 millimeter uh, nut here. Now, let's go inside and have a look at the sensor. The sensor right there. I'm gonna take the uh, 10 millimeter bolt off and then I'm, pull out, I'm gonna pull out the sensor with the connector. Okay, and uh, the camera is here beneath the car right now. That is the sensor right there. Uh, that's the cut converter, that's the cut converter right there. And I'm gonna be using a, a wobble, a wobble a 10 millimeter socket. Very long extension. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna be using a small plier. See if I can get it out. Now that I uh, hold the connector. Okay, here I have a. This is the sensor that came out. This is a used one in good condition. This event that was a crash, uh, so we got this sensor from that one. So I'm gonna be testing them right now. Now, this is supposed to have between 835 ohms and uh, 1400 ohms. And uh, it's uh, 1057 ohms, so this should be within the aspect. This is the one that I just took out. This one looks much better. All right, I'm gonna the multimeter. Let's see this one 1085. This one is within the specs. Now, there is a situation here right now because uh. Uh, they both within the aspects. You have to know that sometimes you have uh, uh, intermittent problems. Like sometimes it gives you problems, sometimes it doesn't. This car drives fine with no problem uh, for hours. All of a sudden uh, it shakes and it shuts down. It's randomly shutting down. Even though it's within the aspects, uh, within the aspects from Toyota. If the problem is intermittent, like it does it over here, it doesn't do it there, and and so on, I will ins I will install this for now. If it gives more problem, then uh, I'll definitely uh, check the wires, also the com the PCM. So I'm pretty sure there are no wires cut or anything like that at this point. Uh, the the poor electrical connection that could be a problem too, or the PCM itself. Or the sensor itself. I got a feeling it's the sensor, uh, even though it's within the aspects. Since it's doing it uh, randomly, like it's doing it here, then the car uh, drives drives fine for hours. All of a sudden, it starts shaking. It it shuts off, and you turn it back on, and no problem. So I just, uh, when you have a problem like that, normally it's intermittent problems, and most of the time are the components that are already failing. And this is that denso, by the way. It's a uh, the one that Toyota uses. I am still gonna provide the instructions how to check the wires and how to, to check the PCM. If the PCM is bad or the wires, I will still uh, provide those instructions uh, on this video. But for now, I'm gonna leave this like that. And one thing I want to mention is I do not upload a video on YouTube if I don't bring a solution to the problem. Also, I forgot to mention between uh, 835 and 1400 ohms, that's when it's cold, it's cold. Not hot. The car is not hot. The, the coil here is not hot. So, that, just to mention that.
70 millimeter nut again. Okay, update. Uh, within a few minutes, within a few minutes, maybe about three or four minutes of being driving the vehicle, the check engine light went away. Uh, by yourself, I did not reset it, I did not disconnect the battery, I did not do anything about the check engine light. So the sensor was the problem, even though uh, it was within the aspects. Thanks for watching.